evening forecast, and I know there are some fireworks shows this evening. We'll keep an eye on those showers and few thunderstorms, mainly between now and about sunset. So basically between now and about 9 p.m. Spotty showers, a few rumbles of thunder. I think after that, those showers and storms that are out there, they'll fall apart. We'll have some leftover clouds and temperatures in the mid 70s. So if you are going to be out this evening, maybe just take that umbrella to be on the safe side. Here's future scan shows what I'm saying here. Those storms and those showers falling apart around 9 o'clock. We get some dry time for the late evening into the early morning hours on Sunday. But then notice around about 3 a.m. We may see another round of rain and storms, mainly south of the metro, Garnett, Lacine, Butler, Ottawa, Paola. I think in the metro we are mainly dry, but again, south of the metro, better chances of you seeing some showers and thunderstorms for the early morning hours tomorrow. So that 20% chance there early on Sunday, otherwise a decrease in clouds through the morning into the afternoon, becoming mostly sunny. We're back in those upper 80s tomorrow, so closer to normal. 89 for a high in Kansas City, about 90 for Olathe and Paola, 88 in Lee Summit. Then for the 4th of July, lots of sunshine. We're dry. Look at these highs, middle 90s, and it's going to be humid. So we have to talk about the heat index. It will feel like it's between 105 to 110. So we are getting into that dangerous level. If you have 4th of July plans, especially if you're going to be outside, hydration, breaks in the shade, breaks in the AC will be very important because Again, that heat index into the triple digits, more the same Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday. Those heat index values dangerously high, high temperatures in those mid 90s. Then we'll see our storm chances make a return late next week into next weekend for Friday into Saturday.